All right, good afternoon, everybody. Um, lovely to see those of you that could be in attendance today. I am Marquita Patterson. It has been a while since I have been before you. I'm excited. So today we're going to be talking about our code 42 um, today, also known as crash plan. Um, it's kind of they're they're the same thing. Why is given two different names? I don't know. Kind of like you know the Marquita and the Kita P. You know we're the same person. You can get Marquita some days. You can get Kita P some days. We're the same person. Um, but in hoot. So to get started, let me share my screen so that you can see how we how we are going to find this little guy. So I might give me a. You gave me a thumbs up. You see my desktop. Awesome. Okay, so right down here in my little tray of little icons here. So if you do not see a, um, a little, I think it's orange, a little orange um, little symbol here. So come, that will be your, your symbol or your icon for your code 42. So if you do not see it, let's come over here to our little magnifying. Crash 42. Crash 42. Crash 42. Thank oh, you. Yeah. Cody for I'm Cody. sorry. I just actually joined and I just interrupted you. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine. Like I was saying before, it's it has the two names. There we're calling it code forty two. Is it code forty two? Mike, correct me. Code forty two or crash yeah, plan. Code forty two is a company that makes it and the name of the little applet's called code forty two. Okay. okay. I had I was uh when I joined, I was actually talking to Wanda. So I weren't <laughs> That was just a, that was a terrible time to come in. I'm just saying. Oh no, you're fine. We're hey, we're with it. We're we're with it. Okay, so now over here, if you if you're looking at my screen, so now we're going to. I do not have the code 42 um, app in my my tray down here. So we're going to go over here and we're going to find it. So I'm going to type it in, code 42, and there it is. So let's click on it and it should pop up. So now I have a whole separate little window guy that opened up on my other screen over here. So I'm going to drag it over here so that you can see it. So now this is what should come up on your computer whenever you um, type in the, uh, the code 42. So I'm just going to click down here. And let me do another little drag little guy. So this is what you should see whenever you pull up your code 42. Now, um, I think I also mentioned that um, whenever your computer is set up here on campus, one of our lovely Do It members um, should install code 42 or crash plan or how, what, whichever one you want to call it, should install that on your computer. So it's already there, okay? So um, once you go into it you will see your computer name here um my this is where i was formerly housed before i moved into the lovely west hall i was in ba um so this is my computer name and this is um what i have backed up so far i have backed up 1.7 gigabytes um and um right down here my it will also tell you when my next backup is um, so in about 14 minutes my net the code 42 is going to back up again my last backup was 2.8 hours ago so if something happens if i probably if i do something you know spectacular or i write some some awesome paper or i just finished some paper and i need to go ahead and just just back up i can't wait that 13 minutes because i feel like something is going to happen so i'm going to hit this button right here run back up now because i need it to do it now but also let me interject that while we do have this awesome code 42 our lovely um do it leadership and lovely do it people went out and found this tool for us we also have google your, your Google Drive, and we also have our Office 365, the, um, the OneDrive. So you can also um, load your files up there. It is not a backup. Let me say that it is not a backup, but you can put your files there 
also because we never know what's going to happen to your computer you know it could fall off you know go see jesus at any point in time um so that's just a little interjection um now here um let's let's go over here to the all this other cool stuff up here um the home the downloads the settings all that stuff will be managed by our admins the people in the background you know like mike and probably cody i'm just gonna throw cody's name out there you know about those people we don't need to know all that but what is going to be beneficial to you our customer is the restore file um piece because something gets lost we want to know where it is so let's just say i lost something so i'm going to click on the restore file here so boom, i have all these folders here and you could have multiple folders it's just a whole plethora of stuff here so i lost the file and i know that it is in my desktop folder so i'm going to click on my desktop folder and i'm going to find that file and i'm going to hit restore file um i lost the file and i know that it's probably it should be in favorites i'm going to click on favorites and i'm going to find that file and i'm going to click on restore file now in the event that I have no idea where I put that bad boy. I couldn't tell you for the life of me because, you know, sometimes I'll sit my keys down and I don't know if I don't sit in the same place every day, all the time, I won't know where it is. So if I put that file somewhere, but I don't know where, I can come here to the magnifying glass. Now, let me also say that if you know nothing about the file, we we really can't do anything for it. I'm I'm sorry, but you have to at least know something. You have to know a name, um, something. You have to know something about the file. So we're going to type in um, something here. Let's type WebEx because we're doing something with WebEx all the time. So I'm going to type WebEx and I'm going to hit enter. So I should have loads of stuff on WebEx. So I have all sorts of documents and all types of stuff on webex so i have a webex something here in document so if this is what i'm looking for i can just come here click on it then click restore files and that's my document it's going to go back there and i'll be able to pull it now if i know that i made some type of of um change to that document, um, let me see, today is 8 24, 12 41 p.m. I made a change to that document, let me see, yesterday, 8 23, around 10 o'clock. That was like an impressive change. It's going to change the world. Okay, I can, but I don't see it. But I'm going to go here to as of today. And I'm going to choose my 8 23. And I'm going to go to 11. 30 let's say a.m because i needed to go back to that point in time now let me also note that you if you're looking at my screen here do not click off of the um the window pane here but you're going to want to click inside of the box here so if i come here it's going to take me back and restore that file to that point in time okay um and and then once i get there i'm gonna hit done and it's going to again i'll be able to pull that file and everything is back easy peasy to where it needs to be um and that in a nutshell is your crash plan slash code 42. i went through it pretty fast but if you have any questions do anyone have any questions? Okay, okay Cody, so, I see a hand raised. Yes. <laughs> so I'm about to um, go ahead and do a little um, tutorial, whatever you know you want to call it. Um, I have a lady's MacBook. She's going from PC to MacBook. Um, so I have been instructed by Mike to let her log in on the MacBook um, and then download code 42 on the macbook that way it's under her account okay so she has a desktop that i'm going to be taking but to get her files over 
that's where I'm at right there. So I need to basically let her log in, download Code 42 on that. Now, where am I at? Then you should go here. Is am I right, Mike? We're going to. Are you still looking at my screen? Yep, we're still seeing it. Okay, so we're going to go. I'm the customer. We we should go here to manage. Wait, hold on. Hey, you, you still want to just you're still you, you still want to do a store, but what you probably want to do is if you click on oh. see what your name is. Oh wait. Hit done here. Hit done to my computer name. Yep. See, I've got a little arrow there. If you have yep. more than one computer associated with you, you will have other devices you can pick between there. So gotcha. in your hypothetical case there, Cody, by the way, I guess practical case, it's not hypothetical, you're about to do it. Um, mm -hmm. She will have both the old computer and the new computer there. So you're going to gotcha. switch to the old computer for the restore. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. So, then, so Mike, so Mike, you said to, to when he comes here, when he comes here, he's going to see her old computer and her new computer and yep. then choose the, he's going to be on the new computer. So he's going to want to pull up the old computer yep. and, then exactly. hit, and then hit restore. Exactly. Like how, how long does it take? Like whenever I download code 42 on the old device, is it going to be like a, Hey, these files are downloading. If code, all right, if code 42 has um, not been ran on the old device yet, mm -hmm. say, for example, it's been off for a while and never got any mm -hmm. updates pushed out, it can take a little while for that initial first backup because it's going to grab and upload everything. Now, normally, gotcha. um, in day, day usage, these uploads aren't very time-consuming because it does incremental backups. So normally, it's only backing up what changes have happened since the last time it backed up. But that first initial right. backup can take a little while if there's a lot of stuff. Got you. Okay. I, I'm I'm scared that, not scared, but I'm kind of afraid that if that's what it's going to be on the count of, um, she said she hasn't used it in a while. So I, it could be on there. It could not. I'm not sure, but I'm just, I just wanted to know like, you know, what to be prepared, prepared for basically. Yeah. You know. Worst case scenario, it might take a little while for it to, for it to run. Um, ideally it, it was already installed and so it was already backing up since the last time. If that's gotcha. the case, then you just need to make sure that it's backup is current, shut it down, pop up on the computer, and go ahead and restore. So what if the backup isn't current? Like, what if it says? Then you're going to want to let it run. Okay, so it'll do it itself, though. Yep, and you can actually see its progress. If you put, if you pull up the code for a two window like she has here, you can watch its progress and see how it's doing. Gotcha. Okay, that's simple. Now, whenever whenever I get on the new one, um, and choose the old device, would I need to do any kind of like select all or anything like that? You just hit restore files. You want to select what she, what she wants to carry over, and especially since you're going from a PC to a Mac or a Mac to a PC, I can't remember which was, but especially if you're changing platforms, you're gonna to want to tell it where to put those files because Macs and PCs don't have the same folder structure. Oh, okay, so how nice. How does that, how would that go? Like, um, I know you would select them and do restore files, but you know, where, at what point would I it'll need to ask, go? When you hit restore, it'll ask you what folder you want to send it to. Okay. And normally the default is going to be the folder that it was associated with before, but since this is a new computer, mm -hmm. instead, what I would do if I was in your position is drop them onto the desktop. That way she can then put them where she wants to store them. Okay. Okay. Seems easy. Saying that that seems very, very uh simple. You know, yeah. let let the let the customer be in control of what they have going on. Yeah, exactly. And that's actually one of the most important things to remember with this product is that um the data the data isn't really ours; it's the customers. They're the ones ultimately in charge of it. We can yeah. assist them and help them, but at the end of the day, it's their files. Yeah, because. I think in a situation like this, she uh, more so is it. I'm pretty sure she wouldn't care at all. Like if if literally everything was deleted, I'm just saying that uh, because she's getting she's going from Windows to Mac, and you know I'm pretty sure she's told me that she hasn't used that device in a while, and you know this is a new thing for her. So she, I think she just really wants a Mac and start fresh, honestly. But if she does have something, this is something for me to just shoot on over. Makes so, sense, yeah. Yeah. 
I think I think that's this is a it will be a, a learning tool for or learning situation for everybody for the whole switch, you know, as Mike said, going between the two platforms and also um, just just taking something and starting fresh, starting at the very beginning. So I think that that would be super cool also. So, yeah, let us let us know how it how it goes. Definitely. Okay. I would I would be interested to know, you know, how how to see how it goes. Okay. And yeah, then, um, um, we can because I I don't know if James is working off of two, is working off of a Windows and a Mac too, or he just has like a Mac computer and Windows monitors and I don't know he has a whole setup going on in there I I don't know, <laughs> but um. Yeah, and so I know he has files and such, but I'm pretty sure a lot of people work like that and they would take those files and probably either shoot them to the cloud or something and because they don't know how to transition them, they don't know how to move them. So I think that that's a good a good case, Code Cody. I just shortened your name. Sorry. Gotcha. <laughs> Code forty two. <laughs> Okay, you know, whatever, <laughs> whatever, Marquita, Kita P, got it. <laughs> got All you. right, do you guys, anything else? That sounds good to me. All yeah, right. Me. All right, that okay. covers it. So I think we have definitely enlightened each other on this crash plan, Code 42, Marquita, key to P, you know, whichever one we're going to get. <laughs> um, so if all hearts and minds are clear, I think we're good today. All right. Good. That sounds good to me. All right. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you. You're awesome. Yep. All we'll right. see y'all. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye.